While it has been proven in many depictions, perhaps most memorably in Alien Resurrection, the xenomorph creature is able to swim and navigate underwater, almost like a second nature. Though it wouldn't seem to be their primarily ideal environment, with several different variants of xenomorphs shown throughout the extended universe, there would in fact be a specific breed of alien where this is in fact the case. In the comic series Aliens Colonial Marines, the squad of grunts embark on a reconnaissance mission to Bracken's World, an ocean-based agricultural colony. Communication sweeps located an anomaly that may be a marine base. Upon landing in the sector, they find the area to be deserted, surrounded by kelp beds, and while securing the area, the marines discover a unique breed of xenomorph below the surface of the water. These aquatic-based xenomorphs, also known as swimmer aliens, are massive in size, and actually very closely resemble praetorians, also with head crests that are elongated, much like the alien queen. The dome, however, is flat at its top, which can be seen emerging from the water when the creature is close to the surface, exposing itself in a way similar to a shark's dorsal fin. These swimmers also have webbing between their claws, further adding to their underwater maneuvering. The lower torso would clearly be the defining difference between the swimmer alien and other xenomorphs, with a large whale-like tail and fins, strongly suggesting a sea creature of similar design was infected by a xenomorph outbreak. The Bracken's World Colony seems to be harboring a substantial horde of the swimmer aliens with dozens if not hundreds that go on to hunt the maroon squad of marines. And very true to the nature of the xenomorph, they have adapted quite well to their ocean environment. Aquatic navigational abilities are able to serve their predatory nature formidably. When first revealed, a swimmer alien leaps out of the water, latches onto Private Serrano, and dives back in with a doomed marine, all in a quick foul swoop that takes the entire squad off guard. The squad is cornered, with certain death awaiting in the dark waters below. While they're able to fend off the initial attack with the APC damaged and secured above a kelp bed, the marines have very little else to resort to than to wait atop the vehicle for rescue, which they estimate may take up to 90 minutes. They wait while staying frosty, as more of the aquatic beasts circle in the deadly waters surrounding them, leading to a tense standoff and sea-based battle. The swimmer aliens are as persistent and unified in their attacks as other xenomorphs we've seen, tactfully attacking the APC from all angles as the marines desperately stave off the oncoming creatures. The swimmers also seem to have a higher pitched screech, as opposed to some of the other growling and hissing we've seen from other xenomorphs. And while maneuvering best underwater, these xenomorphs also have the ability to walk on land surfaces as well, additionally carrying small, crab-like legs for such navigation. With these abilities, and especially their ability to leap from the water at great heights, this breed of alien poses a very serious threat. Though after reinforcements are sent into Bracken's world, the horde is contained and finally subdued by a chemical fire, burning up the kelp beds and essentially boiling the remaining xenomorphs to death. While featured in a large portion of the Colonial Marine story arc, these specific swimmer aliens haven't been featured outside this story, and it is never actually explained how the variant came to be. Could this xenomorph type be the product of a facehugger attaching itself to an underwater creature? And if so, what exact creature could it have been? Or do you think it may be a result of genetic experimentation? Comment below and let me know your thoughts. And also let me know if you're interested in seeing further depictions of the swimmer alien. If not in an actual movie, I think at least this particular xenomorph may have made for a unique opponent in an alien-based game. And NECA is always making cool adaptations of Xenomorph variants for their action figures, so maybe it's time they took a crack at the Swimmer Alien. As always, thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate it, and if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. You can also subscribe to the channel if you'd like, and always be up to date with all the latest theories and explanations from the Alien Universe. If you have a suggestion for a future video, please comment below, I'd love to hear it. And you can also follow Alien underscore Theory on Twitter and Alien Theory YT on Facebook for more. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.